कैसा लग रहा है रोहित I need uh, one coffee. Coffee plan or sugar no milk? Huh? No sugar no milk. Guys, now we are at Autram Park on our way to mm -hmm. Bear Hill Station, and uh, Rohit is gonna guide us through the MRT because he has taken the responsibility for the same today, and uh, he has become the yellow line today. Look at his T-shirt. <laughs> कंफ्यूजन कम हो रहा धीरे धीरे कंफ्यूजन जैसे कुछ है नहीं मैं कंफ्यूज हो रहा है कंफ्यूजन जैसे कुछ है नहीं मैं कंफ्यूज हो रहा है अरे कहना क्या चाहते हो इसके और इसके और इसके इसमें कंफ्यूज हो थैंक यू सो आई गॉट दिस मशरूम चीज रोज गॉट अ डोनट सो गैस यू रिमेम्बर द सिंगापुर टूरिस्ट पास दैट वी गॉट So uh, after getting our railway station to on our way to Henderson Waves they need to get a bus and we are at the bus stop you need to check the bus logo and see at the back of the card if that bus is actually assigned to this and if it does that means we can use the bus service for free either say first one okay so that's the logo we are talking about and uh, get yourself a singapore tourist pass it saves a lot of money सो गाइज इट्स नॉट दैट फार फ्रॉम द बस स्टॉप बट जस्ट दैट द इंक्लाइन बिट ऑफ स्टेप्स एंड द रोड मेक्स इट अटल टायरिंग एंड you know you need to push a little when you're trying to come here get on at red hill mrt catch the bus 145 to this place Guys, here we are at the Henderson Waves. This is a 274 meter long bridge. It stands as the tallest pedestrian bridge that's built in Singapore. It was one of the two bridges that was constructed under Southern Ridges project. If you observe the structure, it's a little wavy. I think that's why they have named it like Henderson Waves. Probably at every 10 meters, I see a wave forming it. As of now, they have blocked the waves because it says caution work in progress maybe there's some uh, maintenance work that is going on but the other part of the bridge like 60% of the bridge is still operational and I'm on it and it's pretty beautiful guys and then there's this highway which is almost 270 meter below you so it's a good view to watch from the top all those uh, racing cars and you know bikes going around it's made of some sort of timber wood not really sure which sort of timber wood but it's very beautiful and i see a lot of people using this for their running uh, routine exercises and obviously why not since it's timber wood it would be easier on the knee such a great feeling to be surrounded by nature especially when you're running you know you have your thoughts all prepped up all positive all motivational getting ahead in life yes there's the place you want to be in while you're running i wish i could run here every day but that's okay so just keep that in mind when you're visiting this place video boss karke dekh lena do you see that little thing shaking that gives me a feeling there's a monkey hidden behind it i'm not going to go very close because i love my camera so here it ends and 
here you come there are two little roads that go one this way and one that way and this is where it leads to I got the water bottle from this very simple eh? that's where you put the coin one dollar ten cents twenty cents and then press the button if you want cheers cheers mmm to me it's a refreshing walk while on the way down you keep surrounded by trees and uh, slope hai decline hai so obviously less stress on the body or refreshing drink sun thoda set ho gaya hai to ekdam perfect hai now that's inception me vlogging singapore the singapore which is vlogging me after you get down at harbour front uh, you can either take sentosa express which is the monorail uh, that will cost you around 4 dollars we take in the bus to sentosa resort which will cost you 1 dollar okay so that's the cheaper and uh, economical way to travel So guys that's it we've got down the bus that's the casino Outside Universal Studio Singapore, look at that magnanimous giant structure. This you must have seen in a lot of places, mostly at the beginning of the films, which is produced by Universal Studios. Apart from animation and superhero films, there are a lot of other films that they have produced, and I've been a fan of it. So, guys, just outside this globe, you will find these yellow booths. So, these are the places where you need to come to buy the tickets. I'm at the ticket counter now, waiting for my turn. And So Cheryl, you suggest us not to go inside because it's going to be raining in a while. It's really raining right now. Yeah, it is. Ideally, how much time would it take to wait, uh, visit the entire um, studio? Normally, to cover the whole park, it takes about four hours. Four hours. Yeah. And, and we don't have that much time, right? Right now, you only have like two and a half hours left. And that's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Cheryl. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Unfortunately, we are not going to go inside the studio because uh, Cheryl suggested that you know if we uh, buy the ticket for seventy nine dollars and like spend it around, spend it for like you know just two and a half hours, especially considering the rains which was which is happening on and off over here, it's not worth it. And uh, she suggested that the ideal time to go inside and uh, you should have at least like four hours. minimum of 4 hours to go inside and explore everything that's there inside the universal studios so just keep that in mind whenever you come next and also consider the weather uh, when you're planning your trip hum logon ko nahi ho paya at least tum log aoge to thoda yaar sab dhyan mein rakhna and uh, plan accordingly hum log ke paas do hi din the singapore mein so i can't like keep it for the other day and now we're trying to get into this adventure cove uh, that's like a water park over here Thank you. We've got a ticket for the Sea Aquarium, which also is uh, valid for the museum. And right now we're in the museum, and it looks amazing. So let's not waste any time further. Or may I tell you something else? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, guys, I think we are done with the museum. This is the exit. And now we are heading to the aquarium. Once you exit from here, you come to this section, like here, to take a picture. Right, that's what they're convincing people. And I got mine. There's the one. That is it from Universal Studios. It was an amazing journey to Universal Studios. Thank you. I will come back again. Believe it or not, that's the parking area. Look at this. Parking area ki kya maza hai? parking. This is what we took from our front station to RWS, and from here, same to back. All right. So guys, now we are heading to uh, Super Trees. And now I'm going to sit here and sit here. That's why I'm talking about it. Because it's a light on my head. So it's a feeling like this studio, right? Let's go inside. Okay, let's go inside. Let's go inside. We are here at the Gardens by the Bay. So it's a nature park that is spread over 101 acres. And this park consists of like three waterfront gardens. One is the Bay East Garden, Bay South Garden, and the Bay Central Garden. And Bay South Garden is the largest among those, which is spread across 54 acres. So that's some egg looking kind of shelf. But what I like about this place is it, it looks like a setup for Tomorrowland. While we are at the entrance of the super trees, we all have taken our refreshers. Now we are ready to go to the super trees and check it out. Guys, to get on the top, uh, they charge you around eight dollars, and that's that's over there. If you can see the line, so that's that's around eight dollars. But uh, the problem here is, so there's a lot of waiting for both, like to buy tickets and to go up. So I'm probably gonna skip that because I have a lot of uh, other places to cover. So for now, that would be it. And now I'm moving on to a place where we could take some good photographs for Instagram. Abhi hum log aaye ek aise jagah pe jahan pe kafi achhe photos click ho rahe. So this can be your Instagram place when you don't want to go to the top or you have done. So guys, that's Smith Street and this is where we enter for the street food. As soon as you enter, you start getting a waft of this amazing smell of all different kinds of fusion food. Right from Chinese, I smell some juices, some hot buns, mostly it's Chinese though. Yeah, now I smell Indian curries. Oh 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a lot of food, huh? What's gonna be on our plate tonight? Let's decide. Oh, look at that. That's duck rolls. So guys, this is what we're ordering. Half roasted duck for $30. So, हो गया डक रोस्ट और अभी थोड़ा जूस पी रहे लेमन जूस और बाई रोहित का मैंने खाना बताना भूल गया रोहित वैसे भी इंडियन खा रहा था पराठा और चिकन मंगाया था उसने और हम लोगों को इतनी भूख लगी थी कि हम लोग उसके लिए रुक नहीं पाए कि उसका ऑर्डर लेट आने वाला था hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> This is the ticket that we got to uh, Rocha because we had returned our uh, tourist pass. And uh, to get your actual ticket, you need to go to a counter like this, which is called General Ticketing Machine. You choose your destination from here. There's the language options, and then you put your money. Like here are the notes, and here are the coins. Okay, so uh, and then your ticket would come out from here. So that's the option you would have if you don't want to stand at the counter or if the counter is closed. Guys, यहाँ पे एक important चीज share करना भूल गया मैं. So जब भी तुम लोग escalator से जाते हो तो left side में खड़े रहना चाहिए क्योंकि right side का यहाँ पे unset rule है वो खाली रखते हैं ताकि किसी को अगर जल्दी चल के जाना हो नीचे की तरफ तो उन लोग वो रास्ता पकड़ते हैं right side का. Listen to the sound. It's very peaceful. Cheers, guys. Have a good life.